Why did SpaceX keep Starship's grid fins out during ascent? This is a great question since SpaceX keeps the grid fins tucked in on ascent on the Falcon 9. This keeps them out of the airflow on ascent and then they can deploy them in space before the rocket re-enters the atmosphere so they can help steer the rocket to the landing pad. When deployed and straight onto the airflow, grid fins don't have much surface area, so not much drag. As long as the rocket is flying within a few degrees of the airflow, the grid fins don't affect much. And besides, grid fins don't steer using drag, they steer by deflecting airflow, much like a dozen smaller fins. Generally, you want your aerodynamic and control services behind your center of mass, and on ascent, Starship has this backwards, but it has 13 of its 33 engines that can steer the rocket by gimbling to maintain control. The engineering trade here is that as long as the mass saved on the heavy mechanism that would normally deploy these massive car-sized grid fins is higher performing than the small amount of aerodynamic drag, then just keep them out. And removing an extra failure mode is always a bonus, too. So although Starship ended in an intentional termination, it actually was able to maintain control through the thickest parts of the atmosphere with the grid fins extended.